To connect your IntelliJ device to an ARI Alexa Mini, you have to use the IntelliJ mobile app, which is available for both Android and iOS. You have to select the corresponding camera in this list of uh, cameras here, which is of course ARI Alexa Mini. Select Wi-Fi on the right side here, because this is the way the device connects to, to the camera. And then all you have to do is fill in these three fields, which please make sure you uh, input them precisely as they are on your camera, otherwise the connection will fail to, uh, to establish. First field here is the serial ID of the Wi-Fi. Second one is the password. And third one is the IP address of the camera. Now, this IP address here is automatically filled in by, by this app and uh, you should be okay with it like this, but in case for some reason your camera has a different IP address, you can, uh, you can of course change it here. Now, this information, the serial ID of the Wi-Fi, uh, I was not able to find it on the, on the camera menu, but it's very easy to find it out by scanning the Wi-Fi around your phone, with your phone or with uh, a notebook, and uh, you will see the way your camera is identifying itself over Wi-Fi and write down the respective uh, string and uh, input it here. Now, the password is the one you can uh, specify yourself. I will show you how in a second, and the IP, as I said, is, uh, is fixed. On the camera menu, we are now under uh, system uh, network. First of all, we have the Wi-Fi mode, which is set to host. So this means that the camera is the host of, uh, of the communication, whereas the IntelliJ device is the, the slave, which connects to, to the camera, which is like a, like a router. Here, you input the Wi-Fi password. As you see, it is the same as you saw it on, uh, on my screen. And uh, here, these settings, I don't think it matters in, in any way. This one is set to Europe. Uh, I guess you can leave it any way you want. And again, this, uh, the camera creates a sub-network. And uh, it can either work as a DHCP server or it can work with a static uh, IP address. Now, in our tests, we were able to make it work with, with a static IP address. So please set this the LAN IP mode to static, not the DHCP. And um, the IP address and the subnet mask uh, do not matter. So you can leave those the way, uh, the way they are. So again, make sure you set your camera to, set, to act as a host. Make sure you input the same password also in the uh, mobile app. This shouldn't matter. And set the IP, IP mode, LAN IP mode to, uh, to static. So these are all the settings that we had to, to make to have this uh, system working. Now, you will of course have to also configure your uh, input controller, whatever that uh, might be. To do so, you will have to uh, watch the separate videos which uh, address this, uh, this functionality, so the input calibration and uh, later mapping your desired input controls to the camera functions. So we have separate videos for this, please watch, uh, watch those and uh, always make sure you do not forget to upload your configuration one that, once that is done, upload it on your device because the configuration when, when you're actually doing it stays on the phone and unless you upload it on the device, the device will not know what, uh, what you did here. And uh, if you want to see IntelliJ in action with the uh, Aria Alexa Mini, please watch the separate video where we show how, uh, how we use our controller to uh, control its functions.